demonstration of bootloader coding on AVR microcontroller. Let's see the hardware used in this project. We use microcontroller chip at Mega 16. It is a 40 pin IC having 60 KB flash memory, 512 bytes of internal EPRO and having 4 input output ports namely port A, port B, port C and port D. We use 16 cross to alphanumeric LCD for display system which is connected to the port A of the Atmaga 16 in 4 bit mode. For serial communication, a TTL to USB converter is connected to the serial pins of Atmaga 16. The programmer used is USB ASP which is connected to the SPI pins of the Atmaga 16. The whole setup is powered by 5 voltage and the supply is taken from the USB port. We use red LED which is connected across the supply which indicates the presence of 5 voltage power. The green LED connected to the 7th bit of the port D which can be programmed to become on or off. We also have a reset switch connected to the reset pin of Atmega 16. Let's see the software used in this project. We use AVR Studio version 4 as an IDE for writing and compiling the code. The burner software used is AVR Burner Mat. This helps to burn code to flash or internal EEPROM and also for writing the fuse bits. Software named MTTY is used as a hyperlink to send and receive data serially by the microcontroller. Let's see what a bootloader is. Bootloader is a code that is programmed into the bootloader section of the flash memory which is capable of initializing the hardware and also load the application program into the flash from EEPROM, SD card etc. The bootloader section is allocated near to the bottom of the entire flash memory. The application sec section AS starts from top addressing 0x0000 and extended up to 0x1c00, a total of 15 KB space. The bootloader section starts from 0x1c00 to 0x1f00 with a maximum of 1 KB memory space. Now the interesting part is that we can make the Atmega 16 to start executing from the bootloader section by setting the fuse bits appropriately. This is exactly the first step we are going to try out. In the demonstration of the bootloader coding on AVR microcontroller, we split the coding section into six different modules. Step 1. Open the AVR studio, copy and paste the symbol LED blinking code. Before compiling, we should configure the compiler for Atmega 16. For that, select the target as Atmega 16. We are compiling the code in such a way that it should get flashed at the BLS only. For that, we need to do the memory settings. Select the memory as flash, name the memory as dot text, give the memory address as 0x1c00. Now build the code. Once the compilation has been completed, a hex file will be generated. Our USB ASP programmer is currently not supported by the AVR Studio 4. So we use another program called AVR Burner Mat for flashing the hex file. We must write the fuse bits before flashing the code so as to enable the features such as to enable the internal oscillator and to select the reset vector as 0x1c00. The AVR burner mat is the best application available for writing the fuse bits into the AVR microcontroller. The fuse bit selection in the AVR burner mat is shown here. This is the fuse bit setting which we are about to write into the Atmega 16. 
Now click the right button and the fuse bits will get written into it. Now we can flash our code to the bootloader section using the AVR Bronomat itself. Select the required hex file which has been generated by the AVR Studio. Select the file format as Intel hex. Now click the right button and the code will get written into the microcontroller. Once the flashing has been completed, we can see the LED blinking. Let's see step number two. We have a code which blinks the LED five times with a delay of 500 milliseconds for the bootloader section. At the end of the code, we have written a statement ASM gem 0x0000. For making a gem to the address 0x0000, which is the starting address of the application section. In the application section, we have another code which blinks the LED with a delay of 2 seconds. We have flashed the LED blinking with a small delay at the bootloader section before flashing the LED blinking with large delay. Make sure that you have disabled the flash memory erasing option at the AVR burner mat before flashing the code to the application section. That is the LED blinking code with a large delay. When we reset the microcontroller, the LED blinks with a small delay of 5 times which happens while the code is executing in the bootloader section. After the LED starts blinking with the large delay which happens only after a jump occurred to the application section. In the next step of the project, we will demonstrate that we can do all the initialization required by the application codes in the bootloader section itself so that we can avoid the initialization codes while we write the application. Let's go to step number three. We have a code for the bootloader section in which we have a LCD, LED and UART initialization functions. We also have a test application in which there is no initialization function but there is LCD, LED and UART writing functions. Flash the bootloader with the initialization function in the bootloader section and flash the test application into the application section without erasing the flash. What happens on the reset of the microcontroller is that the bootloader initializes the LCD, LED and UART ports and jumps to the application. Application runs successfully even though we haven't written inside it. So far we have enabled the following features in our bootloader code. At the moment our bootloader code can initialize the hardware, make a jump to application code section once the initialization has been completed. In the following step we will demonstrate how we can make use of self-programming mode SPM of the AVR with the bootloader code. Here comes step 4. Self-programming mode. SPM is the feature of the AVR microcontroller which enables the microcontroller to program its own flash memory. Only the code running on the bootloader section can make use of this SPM feature. The APIs for SPM are given in the header file AVR flash boot .h. Using this APIs, we can program the flash memory page by page. Mandatory steps required for the SPM programming are store the required binary into the temporary buffer before writing the flash memory page. The following API can be used for this purpose. Erase the flash page which you are about to write into. Program the store buffer into the already erased flash page. In this step, we take the binary to the program from the flash memory itself. We have written the SPM code inside the bootloader in such a way that it can copy 300 bytes into the temporary buffer starting from address 0x0000. After doing this, the bootloader will make a jump to the address 0x0000. 
with the bootloader code whatever the program we flash into the address starting from 0x0000 will get returned to 0x0100 and executed. We are using a simple LED blinking code as a test application in this step. Flash the bootloader code first and then LED application when you can see the LED blinking. You should demonstrate that the code has been rewritten from one section of the flash memory to another and is executing from there. Next step, we will try to load the binary of the application code from the built-in EEPROM of the Atmega 16. Step number 5. The modification done here is the loading of the temporary page buffer with the binary and also to read from the EEPROM. There are several APIs supporting read and write on built-in EEPROM of the Atmega 16. These APIs area defined in AVR slash EEPROM.h. EEPROM has two pages, each having 256 bytes. We intended to copy all the 512 bytes of the EEPROM into the flash memory. For that, we need to write two pages into the flash memory, one after the other. Simply, we let the entire code to loop sometimes. First, with a flash page address of 0x0000 and the second time with 0x0100. Now, code the bootloader. Then, flash any application code to the EPRO memory. This time also, we will test it with a simple LED blinking code. Once we write one application to the EPRO, we can see the controller automatically reset and LED is blinking, which means our application code is being successfully loaded from the EPROM memory to the flash memory by the bootloader. Let's see the final step, step number 6. In this section, we will club all the code which we have done for the bootloader in the previous steps into a single code so that this final code will be called as a bootloader code by its definition. It should have the capabilities like initialize the hardware, load the application to the flash from the another memory, jump to the application section and let application code to execute. In this code, we include the initialization of USART, LCD, SPM, and which can load the application from the EEPROM. We use an application code which access the serial port LCD and LED. When the application runs, it flashes the LED a few times. Once the LED flashes stops, we can type anything on the MTTTY hyperterminal and same will be serially read by the Atmega 16. This is displayed on the LCD. Please note that the application code didn't have any LCD or UART initialization function. Also, it has been written directly to the EEPROM, not to the flash. The bootloader coding on AVR microcontroller concludes that there is no need to initialize the hardware in the application code. And also, we don't have to flash the bootloader for the application each and every time. All we have to do is flash the application code directly to the EEPROM and bootloader will take care of the rest. Thank you.